Hello and welcome to Spartan Design University where we make testing as fun as programming or coding. Once you've got your project built, you need to test it in multiple browsers and multiple devices. We've got Internet Explorer um, up here. I'm using currently version 10. And the nice thing about version 10 that I really like is this developer's tools. It allows you to test it in multiple versions. So here's IE 10 multiple columns, it looks good, I can even skinny it down. Notice that as I drag it, it responds just like any modern browser would. So IE 10, thumbs up for you. Let's go take a look now at Internet Explorer 9. Um, two columns still looks good, image still looks nine, fine. Scrolling okay there, phones okay. So everything's working great for IE9. Well, it should because we told it to. IE8. Wait for the little spinning wheel up here. Sometimes it takes a while and you need to refresh it. So now we're looking at IE8. Still looks pretty good. We're skinning it down. Okay, I have the mouse down, and there it goes. There it pops to two columns. And there's my phone version. So it's a little bit slower on the uptake than the other two, but it works. Now we're going to go way back in time to Internet Explorer 7. Notice the fonts get fat. Okay, it's not quite reading something correctly there. It's got a little bit of twitchy there. It's a lot slower to respond to the media queries, but it is working. So, thumbs up to all versions of Internet Explorer on our site. Now we've got our tablet. Remember, we, we broke this one at 900 pixels. So when I flip this, I should get the desktop version. And I do. I've got a little bit of the gradient showing out here. And I've got a little bit of space up here at the top. So now I'm seeing the tablet version. That's okay. That was my decision as a designer. Let's take a look at our phone. And there's my header, just the way I envisioned it. My navigation. I've got a full width image with my 2% margins left and right. News stacked with tweets beneath it and a nice black footer. So that's looking like it should. Flip it. It's really big on the screen. But if someone were to flip their phone, they'd get this version of the site. So we are 100% successful on mul both multiple devices and Internet Explorer. And I've also tested it on Firefox and Opera and Safari. So we're, we're good with everything we've learned so far to go to multiple devices with multiple browsers.